Hey, hi, in this video, I will show you how we can invoke AWS CloudFormation template to create AWS resource using Terraform and deployment via GitHub Actions. Okay, so as you see in my screen, I have a pictorial representation of this demo. Okay, where I contain where I uh, I have a, um, a big two big logos in this picture. One is uh, the GitHub account. Okay, so under the GitHub account, I, I have uh, Terraform, nothing but I represent it as a, a, a GitHub repo, yeah, where we will be keeping our uh, Terraform files, yeah. Under GitHub account, we also have a GitHub Actions which will invoke these Terraform files, okay. And at the end, I have big logo with the name um, AWS logo. Okay, so under the AWS account, we will be having a cloud formation stack, which will in turn provision the an example cloud um, AWS uh, service that is VPC service. Okay, so henceforth the pipeline is like this. Okay, so uh, it will start from the Visual Studio Code where I will be doing an ID. Yeah, once I make changes to my code, I will be publishing the changes to my uh, upstream GitHub repos. Yeah. And once the changes are published to the GitHub repos, um, then it will automatically invoke the respect to GitHub actions. Okay. So once the GitHub actions are been invoked, then it will it will run the cloud formation uh, stack. Okay. So which in turn provision the an example um, AWS service that is the VPC service. Okay. So that is the uh, just a brief about this uh, demo in the pictorial format. Okay. So with that note, let's get directly jump to this code walkthrough and show you the demo of uh, how we can provision the um, the required AWS uh, resources using cloud formation. Yeah. Um, so let me take you to the repo. Yeah, here you go. This is the Visual Studio Code uh, where I have cloned my GitHub repo. So this is my GitHub repo. Under GitHub repo, I have uh, uh, the dot um, GitHub forward slash backward slash um, workflow folder. Under that one, I have the GitHub Actions related uh, YAML file. One is the Terraform apply and the Terraform plan. Yeah. So um, and also under the um, after that I also have uh, two more uh, Terraform file under root that is the cloud formation Terraform file. So this cloud formation Terraform file contains the end to end definition about how you can write the cloud formation stack in uh, in Terraform. Okay. And also uh, I have one more file one with the name main Terraform file. Okay. So this main Terraform file will contain uh, the Terraform backend configurations and also um, um, uh, 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 Terraform uh, provider for AWS. Yeah. So okay, um, so uh, as you see here, right? I'm currently in the my future branch one. Okay, so to know more about how you can set up the environment like this, please do watch my previous videos where I have explained everything from the sketch in regards to how you can set up the environment uh, for this demo like this. Yeah, and also kind of request please do subscribe my channel. That would really encourage me a lot. Okay, yeah. With that note, let's get started to this um, this demo. Okay, first one I will let me uh, quickly walk you through the code. Then I will show you that how we can provision the uh, these uh, uh, the cloud formation template uh, or how we can run the cloud formation template to provision the required um, AWS uh, resources. Okay, so uh, so this is the uh, let me select the complete code. Okay, so this is the code uh, which is responsible for crea running uh, creating a AWS uh, cloud formation template and running the same into the um, on the AWS account and it will provision the at the end it will provision the uh, required uh, AWS service. Okay, here for this demo, I have chosen a creating a VPC service using cloud formation template. Okay, yeah. So let me make a, a note that cloud formation template is nothing but a, a, a declarative type of um, um, a file. Okay, declarative type of file in the format of JSON or in the format of YAML, where on invoking those files, uh, the automatically required infrastructure will be provisioned on your AWS account. Okay, so that is just a layman term explanation of uh, what does the cloud form templation does in in AWS. Okay, so now uh, so you might be knowing that you can write it uh, the cloud formation template uh, separately and uh, and invoke it by using the AWS CLI or or SDKs as well. Whereas um, how you can invoke those uh, cloud formation template using the um, Terraform, okay? So Terraform is extensively used for infrastructure as a code, okay? So that's what my uh, my demo my demo shows us here, okay? Where I have created an example cloud formation template and I will be invoking that cloud formation template using the Terraform, okay? So that is the motive of this demo, okay? So here, so this is the uh, the end-to-end -end block which is responsible for creating your cloud formation stack and also running the same to provision the required in, uh, required services in AWS. Okay, so let me quickly walk you from the top. So here again, it's a resource. Yeah, and the stack and the resource type is AWS underscore cloud formation underscore stack. Okay, yeah, and this, this is the uh, resource type of our cloud formation stack in Terraform. Yeah, inside this flower bucket block, we are giving the name of the cloud formation stack. This is the VPC stack one. Yeah, and after that, the parameters. Okay, Ter parameters are nothing but the parameters which will be consumed inside this uh, while running the Terraform um, uh, while running the cloud formation template. Okay, uh, 
so here my parameter is CID or nothing but I have chosen 172.16.0.0. forward slash 16 okay and the template bucket that the template body is equal to starts with smaller than smaller than stack caps letter and ends with a stack caps letter okay so remember this yeah so uh, between these uh, sim these syntax that is smaller than smaller than cap stack ends with a stack okay in between this we will be keeping our um, uh, in between the, these two letters we will be keeping our um, cloud formation template in the format in the format of json okay whereas you can keep uh, the uh, the cloud formation um, uh, template references uh, by, by directly pointing to a file here as well but uh, for this demo i'm just focusing on on keeping the direct json files inside this uh, inside this yeah uh, so here you go so let me quickly walk you through this uh, the uh, cloud formation template okay yeah the first one is the parameter okay the parameter which we need to provision vpcs that is the c header okay so the type is again string and the default value it will take as a uh, 10.0.0.416 okay if you are not providing this one uh, this vpc cidr yeah so it will use this default value so that's what uh, the default value is meant okay so this is the description yeah and inside this resources okay in the resources block we are creating one resources okay with the name uh, the, the variable name is my vpc whereas the type okay type in the uh, type of the uh, the cloud formation template is um, easy to uh, double colon vpc yeah and the properties we are just giving the cidl block okay the reference okay here, here you go the reference is being taken from the our parameters yeah, yeah? And here is the parameter yeah and um, um the the tags inside the tags we are giving the name of the vpc that is um the, uh, the cloud quick poc underscore vpc that it will be our our vpc name yeah so that's it that's a quick uh, code walkthrough for this uh, cloud formation template within um within uh, terraform code okay Whereas um, you can you can use in a such a way that you can you can save this um, JSON file separately uh, separately as ending with dot JSON file and just reference that link uh, reference that URL to here. Okay, I'll be creating a separate video in regards to this one as well. Okay, so let's let's go to the next demo. So let me make a, some some comment. Okay, so that I can uh, commit the code and show you um, separately. Yeah. so i'm just i'm just making some 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 uh, uh, immaterial changes okay and i will commit it to local branch and, and synchronize to uh, upstream branch so that i can invoke um i can invoke the required uh, uh, github actions okay so here you go commit is successful and uh, the future branch one says that there is a need of one upstream branch synchronization okay so let me do that once the upstream uh, branch synchronization gets started okay once gets completed then it will invoke um, a github actions in in our um, um, yeah in, in our github account here you go so i have a, a github account so and it contains a, a github repo yeah this is my repo inside this i have the two branch one is the main branch one other one is the feature branch one okay and the feature branch one we have just made the changes and synchronized to our this upstream branch okay so that would in turn invoke my uh, one of my github action okay as i said there i have the two github action one is the terraform plan another one is terraform apply yeah terraform plan will be invoked whenever i make uh, changes to my uh, or whenever I, I push some code to my upstream branch okay henceforth it has been successfully ran okay so let's go to the uh, plan okay terraform plan and see the logs what it says yeah here you go it says that it has it will be provisioning a, 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 a cloud formation stack okay and the cloud formation stacks will provision the required uh, uh, services for us okay so that's the reason it says it's it says only one uh, changes will be done to your infrastructure um and, and zero changes and zero data okay so that's what uh, the terraform plan is saying yeah and we are happy with it okay so let's go to the next action okay so let me make a note here that in this step we are not provisioning any infrastructure to our aws account okay it will just creating a draft okay it has not yet invoked the terraform apply okay make a note yeah so to apply the terraform apply terraform apply stage i need to create a pull request against my my main branch yeah so let me uh, let me do that so here what i mean to say is um so whenever i make changes to my um or whenever i make uh, code pushes to my upstream branch uh, so whenever i make uh, make some changes uh, to my main branch yeah so then only the terraform um, um apply github actions will be invoked okay yeah. so now how i am now point is now how i'm making the how i'm pushing the code or how i'm how i'm making pushing the changes to my main branch okay so that is why i pull request and and pull request merger yeah so i'm confirming so that the changes can be merged to main branch and that will in turn invoke 
um, a terraform apply hyphen infrastructure release yeah so here you go the terraform apply hyphen infra hyphen release um, action has been invoked okay and it is getting provisioned as of now so let me show you okay so let me let's quickly parallelly uh, um, uh, walk through the logs of this terraform it, 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 it is very quick actually yeah, it has successfully provisioned the required infrastructure okay so uh, currently here you go so currently it is running the terraform apply nothing but it is uh, running the plan and it is creating the required stack and the on our um, aws account okay so here you go it has successfully um, uh, created a stack and it is successfully provisioning the um, the it is successfully create it is creating it is creating the the required stack in our um, uh, in our aws account okay yeah in, uh, henceforth it is taking some time yeah um so here you go it has indeed uh, it was very quick as i explained earlier as i told earlier and it has successfully ran the terraform apply uh, stage as well yeah so the log says that it has successfully provisioned the cloud formation stack yeah the completion is complete yeah the uh, create creation complete after 26 seconds and this is the idea this is the idea of your uh, cloud formation stack and the summary says uh, one added zero changes and zero destroy yeah so let's let me quickly take you to the uh, parallel take you to the uh, my aws account and show you the the stacks are being created okay so let me refresh here you go the cloud formation stack has been successfully um, um, successfully um, invoked okay nothing but uh, the cloud formation template has been successfully invoked okay so in the cloud formation template we have uh, written a logic to create the vpc service okay so now let's check if the vpc service has been created for us okay So I'm going to the VPC service uh, in my uh, North Virginia, nothing but US uh, East one. Yeah. So here you go. The VPC services has been successfully created. Yeah. And the name of the service should be the same as 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 we have given there. Yeah. So here you go. So this is the um, um, uh, Cloud Quick POC VPC has been created, and this is the C area. Yeah. Here you go. So all the properties are resembling to the same which we have given. Okay. So that's it. This is the straightforward demo of how you can use. Um, Terraform to invoke the uh, AWS cloud formation template. Yeah, and and we are deploying via CI CD. Okay, this is nothing but complete a uh, DevOps may of DevOps way of doing the uh, or, or invoking the uh, um, uh, AWS cloud formation template. Okay. Yeah uh, With that note, we have successfully shown you the demo. Thank you for watching our videos and also kind request Please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot. Okay with that note. Thank you. Thanks a lot